Sometimes I got that heat, let's go. All right, guys, welcome back to another video. It's your man Jay. So, before we get into this video, I want to thank some of the people that lit up the coffee cup. I was able to get a fresh roast. Appreciate you guys taking care of me on that. If you want to buy me a coffee, hit the links in the description. As a matter of fact, go ahead and run through all of those links in the description. You'll find something that you might want to support the channel with. Blessings. I appreciate the support. Now, let's get into this. So, obviously, you can see that I've purchased the 256 gig iPad Pro. I decided, and this is the 2021, I guess you can tell because of the camera, but nonetheless, I opted to go ahead and grab this because I made the video the other day about should I wait? Should I wait and grab the new ARM chips in the MacBooks? Should I get rid of my mini? Should I get a current MacBook Pro? And the reality is, in the back of my mind, uh, remember I bought the 11 inch uh, iPad Pro, the first generation, and I didn't keep it very long. I went back to a regular iPad because I just didn't feel it was worth it at the time. Um, but I didn't do much research on that iPad and I didn't see the future coming. So. Um, I tried to find some recertified ones um, of the iPad 11 from the first generation. I couldn't find any. And then so I decided to just go ahead and grab the new one and I got me a 256 gig. That should hold me over for, that's more than enough. Uh, but after I talked about that, what Apple is doing uh, in that previous video, I genuinely gave it some thought and I was like, you know, I really need to get ahead of the curve a little bit and I don't want to get rid of my Mac. So why not be portable? you know, to get myself going with an iPad uh, Pro. Um, this thing obviously is really fast. Uh, it's got the 120 hertz uh, refresh rate or whatever they call it. Uh, and it's just got powerful speakers. I never got any hands on with the 2020 version. The cameras are actually really good. I'm kind of surprised. Uh, well, I guess I shouldn't be, you know, because, uh, you know, it's it's an upgrade for sure from any of the things that I was going to get now, which was an iPad, uh, which was a MacBook Pro. Now, I, I'm comparing this more along the lines to the MacBook Pro 13 inch. Um, the ARM chip definitely blows away those Intel chips when it comes to performance. And, uh, you know, this has quad graphics from what I can tell from what I've read on here. It's hard to believe that they did that. Put quad graphics uh, uh, in a, a tablet, but if, if Apple is doing it like this with these, um, devices that they have right now, imagine how their, uh, computers are going to be. So I decided, I said, you know, I'm going to get ahead of this thing, grab this a 12 Z chip. Plus once I saw that that's what they were putting in the Mac mini for the developer edition, I thought, you know what, I'm getting ready to do to just grab this and go with it and again i could have gotten a recertified one and i did look but there was none out there on apple's website and then i didn't want to get best buy recertified so whew, i was able to get me one so this video is edited on the ipad uh pro uh the mini is absolutely great as is and it's going to be a great addition to my office once i get this new situation set up but if i'm on the go and i've already got a tempered glass for ordered for it and a case and everything uh, I can do a lot more, I think, uh, with an iPad Pro. The power that I want is, this is more powerful than some other laptops that I have and owned, and especially Windows laptops. Um, they're just not touching Apple when it comes to uh, the power thing. It's just not happening. Uh, even though this is an iPad, the rendering times on this thing are fast. I mean, it's, almost unbelievable how fast it can render some 4k so with that being said i think that if you opt to go with anything arm this is the latest and most powerful chip that apple is offering uh on any other devices and so that's why i went with this one i could have gotten the 13 inch but the 13 inch takes away from the portability that i'm looking for to be on the go this is lightweight thin you know to focus on that Leave me alone. Focus on this. Focus on the iPad. It won't do it. It's got me a view. How about now? There we go. <laughs> Focus. Bull. There we go. Yeah, but the the this is a powerful little uh, product, and it's you know you're probably saying, "Well, Jay, I could have told you that." Yeah, I know this, but I don't buy everything that I <laughs> I don't buy everything just because I can buy it. You know. 
I prefer to have certain things and I really thought that I was gonna like uh, a MacBook Pro, but this chip right here, uh, and again, I had the previous generation of the iPad, a Pro 11, I didn't have this version. This one is definitely blazing fast. The microphones on it, everything is good, I like it. The screen is beautiful. Uh, it's just, it was a decision that I decided to make because honestly, I kinda took you guys' decision, you just didn't see this coming. You, a lot of you guys said, Jay, just stick with the Mac Mini. You know, it's working for you. You like it. You got the monitors. You got the setup. It's good. So stick with it. And so, boom, took your advice. However, I said, you know, get you an iPad Pro. Bars. So, <laughs> so in the end, I think that this will hold me over until... You know i do until next year or just two years from now or i'm not saying i'm gonna keep this for two years or i'm gonna try to wait until a two-year mark i i want to see what they do at the end of this year i do plan on still getting a macbook um the new arm chip macbooks but we don't know when they're coming you know what i'm saying so i'm hoping that they'll supposedly they're going to be here at the end of the year but mm, i don't know about that we shall see about that however i feel like if this is Apple's strongest chip right now, and it's beating out in performance the MacBook 13 and the MacBook Air, killing it like that, and those are Intel chips, I mean, what do you do? What do you do? So, quick video, just an introduction. Yeah, it's back on here, and I got a pencil. I got a few things that I've had for a while. I've already had a pencil, but I got another pencil in. Uh, from a company and I'll, I'll test that out on this this iPad, but nonetheless um, Salute Nonetheless, you know being able to not go up in the office and edit is gonna be fantastic because I do a lot of things in this particular spot and then it's not hard to walk up to the office, but sometimes I don't want to. I just want to chill down here after I after I do a review or something or record. I just want to stay down here sometimes and sit on a nice comfy couch or recliner and watch TV and edit at the same time. So this iPad Pro uh, is something that I'm excited about. I wanted to share with you guys. Some of you guys, if you're a member, you already knew I had this, uh, but I wanted to make sure that I keep you up to date with some of the tools that I'm using to edit on the channel. So now I'm gonna go grab that pencil. I'm gonna test it out while I edit this video. It's your man Jay, hope you guys enjoyed. The iPad Pro 11 2020 is here.